Russia is finally back in the game, coming in hot with its sixth-generation stealth fighter, the MiG-41. This big project, also known as the PAC-DP, is set to shake up the aerospace industry. It's scheduled for its first flight in 2025, and it's ready to replace the older MiG-31 with some serious upgrades. We're talking top-notch military features, engines that can adapt instantly, and a mind-blowing range. But can Russia pull off this project, especially after the problems they had with fifth-generation technology? Join us to find out and stick around till the end to discover Russia's plans for military advancements that you wouldn't even believe they're capable of. Mikoyan, a well-known Russian aerospace company famous for making planes, is currently leading the way in its latest project, the PAC-DP, or the MiG-41. The PAC-DP is shortened for Prospectivni Aviazioni Complex Dalnego Perekvata and translates to Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception. The MiG-41 is made to do two important jobs, stopping enemy planes and fighting them using speed, agility, and the ability to hide. People are excited because the MiG-41 is expected to fly for the first time in 2025, bringing a big change in airplane technology. However, like many other Russian planes, there's a lot of secrecy around the MiG-41. People in the West don't know much about it, so they're guessing what it can do and what it looks like. Despite all the guesses, one thing is clear. The MiG-41 is a big step forward in airplane technology and could change how wars are fought in the sky. The MiG-41 is supposed to take the place of the old MiG-31 and be part of the sixth generation of planes, showing that Russia wants to stay ahead in making military airplanes. However, some people are worried that Russia might be unable to make many of these new planes. This is because they had some trouble before with fifth generation fighters, so some people think maybe the MiG-41 will never really get made. They think it might not even be tested, let alone built for real. While no one can tell for sure what happens in the future, let's try to unpack what Russia is aiming for with the PAC-DP or MiG-41 based on the key ideas that define a sixth generation design. Russia is aiming to equip the MiG-41 with impressive features. They're focusing on top-notch stealth capabilities, allowing the plane to hide from enemy radar. Additionally, special equipment is being added to give the MiG-41 an edge in combat situations. The emphasis is also on powerful and versatile engines, capable of various tasks like high-speed flight. Now, when it comes to flying far, the MiG-41 needs to have a good range. That means it can travel long distances without needing to refuel. And of course, it needs to be able to carry weapons that can hit targets from really far away. But it's not just about having all these cool features. The plane also needs to be easy for the pilot to use. It should feel like second nature for them to fly and control the MiG-41, even in high-pressure situations. Moreover, Russia is also planning to add autopilot features, making the fighter jet stronger than ever. How incredible is that? But here's the kicker. No one has ever made a sixth-generation plane before. It's a whole new level of technology that hasn't been explored yet. So when Russia says they'll have the PAC-DP MiG-41 flying by 2025, it's like they're aiming for the stars. However, let's not forget history. Russia, like any country, has had its share of big ideas that never quite panned out. Therefore, while the MiG-41 sounds incredible on paper, there's a big chance it might never become a reality. Brace yourselves because the design plans for the MiG-41 were reportedly finalized back in 2019. According to MiG's Director General, Ilya Tarasenko, this new jet is set to zoom at speeds exceeding Mach 4, cruising comfortably around Mach 3. It's said to come equipped with a laser to defend missiles and can fly at altitudes close to space. Tarasenko also mentioned there will be a version that can fly without a pilot. If everything goes as planned, this aircraft would be quite the force to reckon with. Now let's talk engines. The PAC-DP MiG-41 is expected to use a newer version of the Saturn AL-51 engine, currently being developed for an upgraded model of the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter. This engine, the Saturn AL-51, is a turbofan with an afterburner, first tested in 2016. 
It's got a unique setup with two shafts and a fancy fan that's powered by a low-pressure turbine. Additionally, it has some cool features like inlet guide vanes made of glass fiber plastic and nozzles designed to reduce its radar visibility. The new engine promises to give a 19% boost in thrust compared to the old one, estimated at around 37,500 pounds with the afterburner turned on. Besides the Su-57 and the PAC-DP, this engine is expected to power the upcoming Su-75 Checkmate, a light tactical fighter. Pretty amazing, right? The Russians are definitely in a hurry to get their sixth-generation fighter off the ground. Meanwhile, the Americans, who were the pioneers in flying fifth-generation fighters, are seen as the leaders in the race for the next generation. Big companies like Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman are fiercely competing for the prestigious next-generation air dominance contract. Excitement is steadily growing as the MiG-41, an amazing aircraft with capabilities almost like those in space, gets ready for its first flight this year. Recently, the Russian media outlet Avia.pro revealed that this incredible machine is nearly ready and is expected to be fully incorporated into the Russian Air Force within the next two to three years. According to insights from Russian journalists, the MiG-41 stands out among its peers. Avia.pro emphasizes that the time has come for the MiG-41 to shine and take over from the aging yet powerful MiG-31. The MiG-31 has been an important asset for a long time, despite its age. This reliable plane has a lot of abilities. It can lock onto targets high up in the sky and stop ballistic and cruise missiles. And there's even a special version called the MiG-31K, which carries the first hypersonic air-launched missile. However, despite its great performance, there's been a recognized need for a new long-range interceptor. The first major try to upgrade came in 1993 with the MiG-31M. Although it had promising features, money problems prevented it from progressing beyond the planning stage. There were also concerns from the U.S. who were worried about Russia getting stronger. Now, the current MiG-31S are getting a makeover into the MiG-31BM. This upgrade includes better radar and electronic systems, improved missiles, and better weapons control systems. However, these older MiG-31S are getting ready to retire, and their production resources are running out, leading to the start of the PAC-DP program. This new program has been kept secret since it started. By 2019, the research phase was done, and by 2021, a prototype was ready for testing. Originally planned to fly in 2025 and start being made in large numbers in 2028, the designers have pleasantly surprised us by being two years ahead of schedule. This shows their strong commitment to the project. As the MiG-41 emerges into its generation, the specific details about this new aircraft are still kept hidden. However, there's talk that it might match the speed of supersonic high-altitude reconnaissance planes. Interestingly, this feature is also being included in the American and Chinese versions of similar aircraft. According to Russian sources, the MiG-41 will operate in near-space conditions, reaching speeds exceeding Mach 3. It's rumored to have the ability to launch satellites into low orbits, stop hypersonic missiles, and perform other impressive tasks. These bold claims have led the U.S. to dismiss the MiG-41 as a fantasy. While it's too early to definitively determine if the MiG-41 is real or just hype, significant progress is underway within the Russian PAC-DP project. Developers claim the MiG-41 will reach speeds between Mach 4 and 4.5, nearly reaching hypersonic levels. Even though the concept of launching satellites isn't groundbreaking, the designers are openly discussing equipping the MiG-41 with anti-satellite missiles. Classified as part of the 5 plus 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 generation and potentially even the 6th generation of planes, the MiG-41's avionics aren't limited to piloted flights. Provisions have been made for unmanned operations, relieving human pilots from enduring loads of up to 9 grams. The MiG-41 represents an exciting advancement in aviation technology, promising to revolutionize air warfare with its speed, agility, and cutting-edge capabilities. While there's still much to learn about this remarkable aircraft, its potential to reshape the skies is undeniable. What do you think about the MiG-41? Are you excited to see it in action? Let us know in the comments below. 
And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating updates on aerospace innovations. Until next time, thank you for watching.